Well, what are we fixing today? Today, I want to get back on the saddle. Um, you can see behind me, I'm in my, as Morton would call it on my playhouse, my creepy basement. Um, I used to do some stuff down here, ish, quite a bit. Um, some distractions for a few years. And stuff just kind of accumulated down here. I says, oh, I could make something cool out of that. Oh, I could make something cool out of that. Well, um, since of recent family changes, we've come to our senses a bit. And we've taken out 80% of that stuff because we don't really sell that stuff anymore. And uh, we've cleaned that up and it's going to go to a flea market. So we're going to just outright sell it. Probably half of what we paid for it, whatever. So, you know, come to Rummagerama in Waukesha next time if you want to see that. <laughs> you know, if you're local, we'll have a bunch of stuff there. But stuff that's left is stuff that I think I could still make and would fit in with our current stuff that we sell at our craft uh, business. Um, there's a link at the end, Creative Touch Crafts. There's a few things on there we do. But, uh, we're going to go through a series here to clean up the basement. While cleaning up the basement, we're going to do some cleaning every time and we're going to do a project every time. So, um, let's get started. So we're going to look around here a little bit. Up, up there is a thing I had for my kilns. The kilns used to plug in here. We got rid of most of the kilns. I think I still got one and uh, that I have for sale. If somebody's interested, I have another one upstairs, two upstairs that I have still available to use, smaller ones. Uh, this is my radio alarm death machine. It, I like radio alarms, but they don't always like you. You have to be really freaking careful with them. I mostly use this now as a cutoff saw. Um, any of the fancy stuff I have other tools for, so I don't use that. And, you know, pegboards, piles. Uh, that's some fancy wood that I want to turn on my lathe someday. If I ever figure out how to use a lathe. Wood back there. And back there that was like piled up to there with gunk. All junk. Stuff that we could use for crafts. A couple of things I kept. Um, see those helmets? We're going to do something with them one of these days. Um, what else? Oh, this is one of the projects in mind. Any guess what I'm going to do with this? Huh? There's a couple things I think we might do with these. Things that I used to do and don't do anymore, but, you know, I think I'll do one just to show you guys and to clean up some of the stuff. I have tools and plumbing and stuff on the bench. The bench that I could almost see, and tools, and junk, and junk, and a sander. Isn't that awesome sander? Do you think it's worth five bucks? That's what I paid for it. <laughs> um, stuff back there. And believe it or not, behind all that back there is a lathe, which one of these days I'm going to work on and figure out how to use. I've been watching... Uh, a uh, couple of people on YouTube. I'll put a link down below. They do some awesome work and I'm kind of learning from them. And I got to get a kind of a chuck because I only have the straight up things. You know, I don't want to do like a whole bunch of stuff, but you know, it's something I've always been interested in. Anyway, got a shaper, got a little planer. Oh, no, well, that's not a planer, that's a, uh, uh, what do you call that, joiner. They work into this hole. I have a saw, which is broke. I have another saw just like it, which is broke. So those probably are projects. So I have a little dust allergy going here. What else do I got? Down there, I actually do have a planer. And that, you know, I kind of set it up on the table saw here and work with it. I have a dust collector system, which I set up and sucks the dust into that thing. I can just voice command, turn that on. It's awesome. Um, I also use that to clean out my pellet stove, even if the ashes are burning. Because the pipe goes up, over, 
over, over, over, over, over, and across there, over, over, over. Oh, we're going to walk into the, that's my bandsaw, my drill press, furnace, but the dust collector comes down here and into a drum that size to collect ashes to make sure nothing's burning. And it goes into another one. It's like a cyclone thing in there. It comes over here to another cyclone thing where most of the ash drops. And then I use that to suck the ashes out of there. And um, works really well. Anyway, more stuff. See that? That's Home Assistant. There's my router. There's the cable company horrible thing they gave me instead of a router. I don't know what it is, but it's crippled and I don't like it. Anyway, that's kind of a tour of the basement. You can see there's a bit of uh, room for improvement, don't you say? So, today's project. Hmm. Not sure what I'll do for cleaning. Maybe I'll do some straightening over here on this bench because that would be good. Oh, i got to find something. I think it's... Under here somewhere. Let me stop chasing you around in circles and you can stand over here and watch. How's that? Oh, you know what? We're gonna work, I think here, this is what we're gonna work on today. Digging around in the stuff in the back, I found this. Laundry day, little washer on there. You know, Goodwill, $1.99. Let's take that off. That way nobody will know where I get my materials from. You won't tell anybody, will you? Don't tell anybody. All right. Now it's quantity one PC from Tender Hearts. See that? All right. Let's take this. Let's take this. Huh? What do you think? Ideal for silks, hosiery, laundry, or hanging on the wall to look like stuff. All right. That. What else? Well, let's start there. So now my idea is, I want to take this and mount it there. What do you think? I think that'll be nice. So we got to put something over here so it'll hang on the wall. And then we need something over here to hang a towel on. And I think I got just the thing for that. So let's see how we can take a dollar ninety-nine plus. Oh, another another tag I gotta get rid of. Plus two ninety-nine. Plus a few screws and something from the garbage, and sell it for twenty bucks. That's how crafting works. So, that's a little piece of wood. So I'm gonna take, cut a piece of wood. So I have to go through the wood into the metal and then into woods because I need a little more. I don't want it to come out the front. So I'm just gonna make, so this is just gonna sit in the back. Let's get these screws out of here. And normally I just voice control this thing on. Okay, that's about where it needs to be. Not that, not that. Oh, good, we got the furnace going. Awesome. It's the blade up. The, every time, if I said the G word, it would try to turn on the dust collector in your world. So, not gonna do that, okay. That's just a little uh, 
RF-433 remote that only sends a signal. It doesn't actually connect to anything other than the home assistant. And then home assistant says, oh, you make that signal. Well, then we do this. All right. So, that's kind of an ugly side. To this side. So I'm just going to take a pencil and kind of draw a circle that I want the screws to be within that space, all right? And if I center that ish, I'm back here. What's this kind of thing? Oh, it's going to be right about there, right about there. So I kind of center that ish. I can take this and drill the holes, put the screws in, and then when it comes through the other side, we can just drill to just tap right into this. This is why I have a bunch of drills around here. I don't have to change the bits. Um, how is this? So it's wood with grain. So I don't want to put the two screws like in line with each other because they might split. So I'm going to like put one here and one here or something, which would be like one here. All right. I'm just going to stick the screw in there. Screw in there. And that looks about right. I'll peek out. All right. So that one's in there. For those of you freaking about me drilling into the table, here, how's that? Because I can hear it already. All right. And we'll put another one in here so that it's not. And I'm kind of aiming for. If you can see it, oh, I can see it here. I'm trying to aim it for the top of this a little bit. I might drill a little better. Don't know. Don't know. I'm kind of centering that. Let's do this. I'm going to crawl a bit. I think we're good though. Like so. That should work. Now, screwdriver. Just get this turned around because I'm right handed. Let's get that one started. Okay. That's pretty centered. Get it straight. All right. That's where it's going to live. I don't think I can go far enough to make it pop out. See, it won't pop out. Exactly straight, no, but we have a little magic we can do. Adjust this wire a little bit. Get that straight across. How about this? The stick I had. Somebody was using this as a cane. It's got awesome texture. Awesome figuring. Really neat piece of wood. I don't know what kind of wood it is, or I don't know how they carved this. But you know what? I like it. So, I mount this right here. We'll give it a cutoff and a cutoff. Hmm. I think we're going to use the uh, 
I think we're going to try to use the man killer. What do you think? See, for the radial arm saw, you have to adjust this so that this will clear the... Can you see back there? Yep. So that this thing will clear the part, but it still kind of collects some of the dust in here. And you have to adjust this so it doesn't hit the part, but keeps this from flying up and killing you. Because it will fly up and kill you. That's for sure. So this is going where it needs to. And my first cut's got to be just to straighten this out. blade and a saw that's trying to kill you. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? So, when that stops, I want to get a little closer to the blade because that's where you are. All right, so now I'm trying to get this, it's kind of lined up to where it looks square because it's a stick, it's not square, right? And then I'm going to, you see over here? Yeah. And I'm going to take, get this lined up kind of where it's supposed to be, and I'm just going to kind of mark this. But not with that pencil. that. So let's look. This lines up pretty nice I think. Good enough. As in sir, good enough? Nah, just good enough. Just like so. I don't know. Let's pick a side that is out. I think. Like that. Let's go that way out. All right. Now we need a couple screws. A little longer. Now here, this is hardwood because I could tell because when I was cutting it. So I need a harder wood. I mean a longer screw, and I need to pre-drill it. Like so. dog lives in a particle accelerator. A Fermi Labrador Retriever. If you're interested in that, that's my API that I found online. That whenever somebody gets close to the front door, it makes the wind chime song, and then it plays a dad joke, and then it resets. So if somebody walks up the... Up. Oh, somebody's at the doorbell. It's probably uh, Amazon. Someone rang the front doorbell. Yep, I know. So those are the kind of animations I've done around my house. If you're interested in that stuff, let me know. We can go over those. They are in my config file. And you can find them there. In the meantime, otherwise, you know... Put out some questions or go to my Discord and ask me about them and uh, maybe I'll make a video. Why not? So in the meantime, I have a drill that's small. And I'm going to just put these screws in there. And I'm just going to drill it. So this is just a simple figure out where you want it. And drill in and put in the screw. 
but it's hardwood and hardwood and I don't want it to split so that's why I'm free drilling this. See. I'm also going to give it a little countersink action because heads on these screws are tapered and we can get a good flush mount you don't see it like so I just have to be careful to go in far enough so that I can start to feel it and then I gotta find the hole again. Yep. Easier said than done a little bit. That feels like the hole. Yep. Got it. So I wanted that out and the curve down a little bit. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Nice and flush. And up a little bit. Now I got the I got the countersink plugged in, so I'm just going to countersink it first. Doesn't really matter the order. This one will be easy because it hasn't moved now, see? This one will just go right in. I don't have to try to find the hole. As long as it doesn't move. There's a little gap there. Okay, gap is gone. The part I want's in the front. That's a little bit of a down going there. So, there we go. Now, hangers. Now I also, just for the, for being nice to people, I try to put these an even inch apart. What exactly it doesn't matter. It's just something like, okay, I can remember that's eight inches, right? Whatever. So let's look at what we got. We have, we have seven inches from here to here. So I think, uh, We'll do five inches. So to figure out what we're doing with that, take my pencil, find the center. Total from here to here is eight and a half inches. So that's four inches and a quarter for center. Four inches and a corner for center. Mark the center. Now if we're gonna do the two screws five inches apart, I gotta go two and a half and two and a half. I'm going to put this here and kind of look where I need to be. Center, the, center this up, kind of with that, hold it, and look where we're at. Give it a little angle up so it's a little easier to drill. And like so. Just like a so. Here, same thing. I'll give, give you a little better look at it. You probably can't see very well. Here's the here's how it looks when it's done. See in there? And I just take this and I set it here. I look for where the line is. Get that in the middle of the fastener. Hold it here like this, and then I just drill into where the screw goes. 
Now I'm drilling all the way, just a quarter inch or so. Which is enough to keep it from splitting. Because this is only like five eighths. It's good to have a little virgin um, material. It just holds better. It's just a better thing. And then screw it in. Okay. There I've turned basically five bucks into 20. Of course, you got to sell it. And that's where my better half comes in. She's the one that knows how to display places, display the stuff, find out where to put it, how to display it, how to advertise it, where, what craft fair to go to, all that stuff. So here we go. This will also be available at Rummagerama next time. Again, if you're interested, I'll pass you on a link. But, uh, yeah, I'm thinking she'll charge 20 bucks. Cause that's what she, I mean, go to uh, Hobby Lobby and see what you pay for this. Huh? That's the way that goes. All right. Some more stuff out of the basement. Uh, today, I think, along with that, we're going to do some... I think we're going to work on... Some of this, some of this ugliness. What do you think? A little ASMR time lapse of picking up shit on the bench. You all in? So there we go. How about a little ASMR? I'm going to work on some of this. Clean it up. Fast forward, here we go!
So, I got it pretty well cleaned off. Now, of course, at the expense of, well, that didn't change much. But I got all my drills laying over here. So obviously, I mean, I got a place for the router. I have a place for the heck saw, reciprocating. Um, the rest of this stuff, um, my thoughts was to put some holders under there, maybe. Or find a place, hey, somebody got some ideas? Some good stuff I can do to uh, hang my drills up. You know, I got 3D printers. I got woodworking tools. I would love some ideas. I got, I love that I don't have to change the bits all the time, but I hate that I have 150,000 bit uh, drills. So I need help. I need help. Not, <laughs> not because I got too many drills that I bought for five bucks a piece. No, I need help managing my drills. I have this pile of miscellaneous hoopla that I, you know, hardware, I can find places for that. Some of that stuff, I got places for the paint, um, electrical. So I can clean most of that up, no problem. I have those containers, which I have to find a place for, maybe a shelf for or something. Um, bags of tools that I'm sure came out of bottoms of toolboxes and got spilled. I have some silicone adhesive here, which I know I got a place for. Those saw blades there end up where I threw that strap before. That's where they go. I had a problem. I mean, the first thing I did, and I didn't record it, was these shells were falling down, and I, I added some I added some chain to hold them up, um, get them flat again, because those blades actually fell off of that. So, you know, that's not unsafe or anything. Uh, my anvil from a, from a railroad, uh, uh, whatever you call it, rail. Those are awesome. So that stays there. WD-40, never put that away. I got this vise here, which I picked up because this one, this one just spins and it's crappy and it's in the wrong place. And I don't like it. I was looking for another one and I'm like, man, I need a vice. Where am I gonna find the vice? And I go to a rummage sale and find a vice. Now, it's not the greatest vice in the world. However, it is a craftsman and it's five bucks. So that makes it that close to the greatest vice in the world, right? <laughs> okay, up here I got a mess. So maybe next time, uh, we'll come up with something for the drills. Like I said, give me some help. Uh, and maybe we'll work on that. Or maybe we'll do something in combination or something. Because I gotta deal with the drills. And I gotta deal with those things. <laughs> now, if I look over there, some uh, yellow racks, which I'm thinking might help, maybe? I don't know. Maybe for drills? Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. I got a drum set down here. <laughs> Never guess what I plan to do with that. Maybe we'll do that as a project too. All right. I think that's about it for today. We got a little project done and we got some cleaning done. Next time we'll pick one of these other projects and we'll go for that. So any ideas with the drills? Shoot me some links or, you know, I got uh, Discord going and all kinds of stuff. So shoot me some links. Um, send me an email. I know links don't really work in YouTube, so go to the, go to the Discord or something else. I, I got I got there's ways to talk to me. I am there. So thanks a lot for watching. If you get this far, really appreciate it. Uh, and I hope me cleaning up some of my stuff has either inspired you to do the same, or was just ASMR, and you could just sit and laugh at me. Hey, I'm good with that too. Till next time. Bye.